make that uh, panel pop up. It's not going to have anything. It's not going to be able to draw quite yet, but it's going to be a uh, start. So we need to go in there and define some attributes for both the panel and the uh, frame too. So uh, we have uh, this method called initialize elements or what that's what I'm using. You can do it wherever you're initializing the elements though. I have uh, one method just to initialize elements, so um, and one method to set all the attributes just to kind of clean it up a little because this one's going to be kind of big. So my panel dot two equals new my panel, and frame two equals new J frame. And this is just going to be the second window, and we're going to have this one called. Um, paint or something like that and let's change this from colors to brushes because uh, brush attributes or something like that or I don't know brushes whatever doesn't matter uh, then under set swing attributes this is the method where I'm setting all the attributes so I have one method again just to initialize new object uh, and then another method to uh, set up each of the uh, swing components so we have Panel one uh, is already defined at 200 by 600, and we need to define frame two dot set default close operation J frame dot exit on close, and then we need to do uh, frame two dot set size, and I just have this set to 600 by 600. Uh, then frame two dot add a J component, and because our class my panel extends uh, J component extends J panel, we can add it because it is a J panel. It's just a slightly altered J panel, and then I'm going to set frame two dot set resizable to false, and uh, frame two dot set visible true. And if we run this now, we should have two different panes, but they kind of are on top of each other. And one thing I haven't showed you is how you can set the location of a frame. So let's do that right now. Frame to dot set location. And we're just going to set it to a point on the screen. We're going to say because the frame one, the brushes paint of frame is 200, we're going to start this at 200, and we're going to say uh, y is just zero. So this should pop them up side by side. And that's all you need to do for this little part of the tutorial is make those two frames appear on screen.